I love you, but Stephen, Stephen, you're a beast. He's sick. You're a beast. Watch it. He's sick. Watch it. Fucking watch it. Stephen Crowder has a significant media presence. With over 7 million subscribers and 2.2 billion views across his two YouTube channels and millions of followers on various social media platforms, including Twitter and Instagram. Additionally, he boasts over 1 million followers on the conservative video platform Rumble. During a show on April 22, 2022, Crowder expressed his distaste to no-fault divorce, stating that women from humble backgrounds could marry a wealthy man, leave him, and take half of his assets without having to work or acquire skills. Unknown to his audience, Crowder had already hired a divorce attorney five months earlier. Six months after his comments, he declined a $50 million opening offer from the Daily Wire, leading to the destruction of his relationship with Ben Shapiro and Jeremy Boring and a public feud with Candace Owens. Four months later, the public would learn that a dispute with the Daily Wire was the least of Steven Crowder's problems. Stephen Blake Crowder is an American-Canadian media personality known for his political commentary, comedy, and acting. Crowder initially gained recognition for his satirical videos on conservative media platforms and later worked as a Fox News contributor. He now hosts a daily political podcast and YouTube channel called Louder with Crowder. The show features his commentary on current events, along with comedic sketches and interviews with guests. Crowder's signature segment, Change My Mind, invites people to engage in civil discussions on controversial topics. At 35 years old, Crowder is a prominent anti-woke commentator with a significant following of nearly 6 million subscribers on YouTube. He identifies as a conservative Christian, which often informs his views on political and social issues. However, Crowder's content has faced demonetization on YouTube due to its contentious nature. In 2019, Carlos Maza, a gay Latino video producer for Vox, faced homophobic and racial slurs from Crowder on YouTube. Crowder repeatedly attacked Maza's ethnicity and sexual orientation in his videos on the platform. Maza collected and posted a video on Twitter of Crowder's offensive comments against him over two years, with the hope of drawing attention to the issue. Crowder used several derogatory terms for Maza, such as Lispy Sprite, Mr. Gay Vox, Gay Mexican, and angry little queer, and imitated a stereotypical gay voice. He even wore a shirt that had a homophobic slur with one letter omitted. YouTube initially promised to investigate Crowder's videos, but later announced that the content did not breach its policies. During a 2021 episode of his show, Crowder made derogatory comments about reporter Betty Yu's facial features, referring to her as having, quote, an aggressively Asian face. The comments were made in relation to the closure of San Francisco's only in-and-out location for failing to comply with vaccine requirements. Crowder played a news segment discussing the issue and then made the inappropriate remarks about Yu's appearance. He also called Kamala Harris a, quote, generically ethnic whore after criticizing her appearance in Seattle to announce a $1 billion grant for electric school buses. The comments made by Crowder have been widely criticized as casual racism, and many online commentators have expressed their outrage.
Crowder disclosed that he and his ex-wife, Hillary, ended their marriage, citing the reason as naturally growing apart, and not because of any infidelity or abuse. He clarified that it was his wife's decision to end the marriage, and that this was allowed under Texas law. Despite the divorce being a difficult and heartbreaking experience, Crowder considered it his personal failure. I've been living through what has increasingly been a horrendous divorce. Now, let me say on the outset, to be clear, there is no infidelity, any kind of physical abuse at all on either side. And no, this was not uh, my choice. My then wife decided that she didn't want to be married anymore. And in the state of Texas, that is completely permitted. It's been the most heartbreaking experience of my life. What I consider to be my deepest personal failure. And just so you know, my opinions on parenting and families have not changed. Um, I've always believed that children need a mom and a dad, that divorce is horrible. And I still believe that children need a mom and a dad and that divorce is horrible. But in today's legal system, my beliefs don't matter. Many have criticized this video as he implied that his wife should not have been granted to a divorce since he didn't want it and repeatedly expressed his dissatisfaction that Texas allows women to get divorces without the husband's consent. He said that he preferred that the details of his divorce had remained private to protect his family and children from the opinions of strangers who lack knowledge of their situation. However, some have pointed this stance somewhat hypocritical since his career involved giving opinions about how others handle their marriages, children, and other life decisions. Crowder's wife, Hillary Crowder, has accused him of subjecting her to mentally and emotionally abusive behavior for years, according to a statement released by her family. She concealed the abuse to protect their marriage and their children. Hillary's family issued the statement after footage of Steven Crowder berating his wife for refusing to do, quote, wifely things, was made public. I drew a boundary. I drew a boundary. No, no, you just did, you just did it. I drew a boundary of abuse and cruel. You were not taking the car. Because if you refuse to do wifely things, then I will go pick up the groceries. American groceries. I do have steaks, wood pellets, my grill. I know it's an unreasonable request, but I'll go do it. How about you first? Hillary, how do you respect the man? Yes. The only way out of this is discipline and respect. If the only way out of it is when we're at an impact, we are going to get past. Good. Because you can't have any discipline and respect. Yeah. There you go. You throw your hand, you give up so easily. I don't give up so easily. You, know, you give up so easily. I, I just said the only way out of this is discipline or respect. You said, then we're at an impasse. Steven, no, we are at an impasse, okay? I love you, but Steven, Steven, your abuse is sick. Your abuse watch it. is sick. Watch it. Fucking watch it. I'm gonna let go, I'll get what you need me to get. And I, I need some space. We need to just talk and baby for a little bit, okay? I love you. I love you very much. I don't love you. That's the big problem. I've never received love from you. And the fact is, when I go, look, I need you to do A, B, C, and D, you just be disciplined about it, you go, no. But I love you more than life itself. Okay. Put on some gloves. No. But I love you more than life itself. That's not fair. That's not fair, and it's disingenuous. Hillary, you're right, right in past. Become someone, let's see me, day in and day out, worthy of a life. Stephen Crowder's wife urged him to seek help for his abusive behavior after he left their home in June 2021 for elective surgery. However, Stephen chose not to get the help and did not even attend the birth of their twin children. After their birth, he bought a townhouse and left their home permanently. Hillary was also unaware that Stephen had hired a divorce attorney and instructed his assistant to cut her off financially. Crowder did not comment on the video directly, but said that in response to recent misleadingly edited leaks to the tabloid press, 
He has filed a motion to unseal all legal records in his divorce. While there might be more details to come out regarding the divorce and the claim of emotional abuse, these recent developments don't bode well for the conservative commentator. This might just be the beginning of the unraveling of Steven Crowder.